Welcome back to the podcast called Tell the World, and I'm your host, Fulio the Rapper. Dead. Damn, on your birthday. You know, there's a death wish on people when they get shot the first time. You would think that getting shot the first time kind of like wakes you up. But sometimes people get shot and they they don't wake them up. I think they get more tougher or they just get more cockier and think they just invincible. Like, you know, we're getting shot. That's like a warning. You know, having a car accident and you survive, that's like a warning. But getting shot and you still live, that's a warning to slow down, slow down before something bad happened because you got a death wish a death wish I could give stories about you know people that I know personally that had a a warning to stop doing the things that they were doing but they kept on doing the shit. They were told to stop. Parents got involved and said, slow down. You need to stop. And they don't listen. But it's, a, it's not just a new generation. Um, my generation, it was like a few hard-headed people that didn't listen end up dying, you know, Finally got shot. Finally died. It wasn't just shot. Car accidents and shit. Uh, Overdoses, you know. It's called like you living a reckless life and and your uh, behavior. Faircom would call it your iniquities. Everything that you're doing has gotten out of control. The things that you keep repeatedly doing are out of control. Hey, I'm not perfect. (laughs) But I ain't going around killing people. And I ain't going around robbing people. To get to my age to live this long, you just experience. And your only job would be is to, you know, kind of like still, you know, teach. I mean, I, you don't know which one is. I'm trying to say it the right way. I don't know what this generation wants. They either want to learn something, be taught something, so they don't end up that way. That's a parent's dream that, you know... Um, Make sure their child is able to, you know, have a, a successful and have a, a good, clean life with, without the troubles and shit. But, you know, we all got to go through trials and stuff. So I understand that. So it's like, uh, I don't want to be nice about the shit. So let me not be nice about it. If you're doing reckless shit, you're talking reckless shit. you killing whatever you're doing, shooking and jiving. Something's going to happen to your ass. Somebody going to put your ass into the graveyard. Somebody going to put your ass into a coffin. It ain't like I'm being hard. As parents, we're not trying to be hard. But Fulio had plenty of opportunity to change his ways. I guess when you got... If there's drugs involved, alcohol involved, they're not listening. So sometimes parents can't even tell the child nothing anymore because it's out of control. I'm a parent that can relate to other parents, you know. You have done all you can do, and the only thing you can do right now is just wash your hands. So then it's up to God. It's up to the Creator. It's up to the divine to try to, you know, reach this person. Anything after that, like Charleston White said, the Grim Reaper is coming. Life is what you make it? I don't know. But being too nice to society? Or are we a part of some of this old shit that washed off on the kids? Their sins washes off on the kids now. Now it's going to wash off on their kids, the next generation. Until we put a stop to some of this. Uh. Not a lot of people going to come open about it and say, hey, we need to try to whatever, slow some of this shit down, change the dynamics. We let 
things and music and bullshit that others are doing raise our our homes raise our lives I know a lot of people gonna come on and say no that's not true hey I ain't talking to you I ain't talking to you we can't say that you know uh, you know it ain't our concern or anything like that so I'm not talking to you either so if you come over here I'm gonna block you cause I ain't talking to you I'm talking about solutions trying to fix this and uh, changing some of the stuff out um Sometimes it happens like I was watching Ten Commandments. It was like a, a, a new one, like a 2009, maybe eight, maybe nine or eight. I don't know, maybe nine or eight. And Moses come back down from the mountains and he comes back down and he, he sees that the people that God has uh, set free from being slaves of the Pharaoh, uh, Moses snaps on his brother. Why, 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 why? Why, brother? Why, sister? Why did you let them do this to worship another God? Why, brother? Why, sister? And they were just trying to say, hey, we, they were going to kick our ass if we didn't <laughs> to agree to this shit. They put all the gold together to make that ark to worship that God. Moses come back with the Ten Commandments, gets mad, snaps on his brothers and sisters, throws the Ten Commandments and shit. Slaps his hand, says, God's going to give you another chance, brother and sister. Are you with me, sister? Are you with me, brother? So he tells the people, you got to choose sides. You're going to run free or you're going to stand on God's side? You're going to run free or you're going to stand on God's side? It's about to get clear. I'm about to close this out. After they all choose their sides, the ones that want to run free and wild, and the ones that choose to keep following God's path, Moses tells his brother, we can't let them roam free. Why not, brother? Because they going to try to make their asses back into the promised land. And that's something we can't allow. So we got to kill their asses. Because as long as that wickedness is out there, it's going to keep spreading and connect, contaminating other free, innocent people like young folks. And sometimes some grown folks, too, who just doing some regular shit. So it was like a bloodbath once. Once all the people got together to kill the ones that wanted to run free. It was against God's law because he didn't have permission. Moses didn't have permission to do that. But, you know, he took it upon his hand and said, hey, God, I know. But they're going to try to bring their asses back in here. But it's just, it sounds like it should have been done. But it actually wasn't good. Because the ones that choose to run free were women and kids. And, you know, parents and just all these adults. So all of them got killed because they knew they were going to come back. I'll leave it right there. There's a moral to that story. You figure it out. I'm not saying this is something that we should do, but they're doing it themselves. And every time I look around, it's death after death after death. I have that the past three years I've been seeing so much death. I don't even get it. I don't even get it. <laughs> Back then, you should see it in the newspaper in the back. And you'll find out who died in town. But it's, it's just things are different now. But anyway, you guys have a nice day. There's a moral to this. So it's no disrespect to no one. But if anybody come on here with the disrespect, I'm going to block you. <laughs> Be nice. Y'all have a nice day.